are you? And what is your artistic habit? Ah, my name is Michael Strait. Michael Scott Strait also. I took my wife's last name to be that name. And my primary, what I do is I do jewelry. And I do stained glass work. And my big focus lately has been with old china plates. I've been almost obsessed with finding different plates and finding certain cuts and certain pieces that I think would make it actually the best. Yeah, piece of and I, and I help my mama make. I help my mama make make baby clothes. Mm -hmm. My wife does baby clothes, and this is Ellie, my daughter, and she helps us both out, and she helps me find plates. What is it about your preferred medium that seduces you? Lately, I've been really just obsessed with finding the best plates. Like, I really love it. I love thinking about how most of these plates that really came from, like, 50, 100 years ago. Oh, we're going to show the jewelry later, Pumpkin. Alright, you can start pulling it out. And really, it's... I like thinking about how these plates were once I say it, uh, the most exciting artistic value of their time. And now that trend has passed of people collecting these china plates. But now I can actually find and, and cut and find like the best pieces, the best beauty of each one. How do you envision your work evolving from this point? From this point, I want to start doing bigger pieces. Like I started doing mirrors. Like I've had some here with doing stained glass borders. And I want to do this more with tile. I want to do this more with um, no, like pieces I of china. It out. I want to do bigger pieces. I want to no, start doing that mirrors. I, don't. I see how you're picking them all out. That's really where I want to go. And then even with the jewelry I do, I can always see about my cuts getting better and my soldering getting better. Like, that's really what I want to, that's what I want to focus on. What sort of imagery are you drawn to? Boats, buildings, Victorian imagery. Like, that's really my, my big focus, what I, I, I'm interested in. Um, yeah, Victorian boats. <laughs> you really can't go wrong with that. Give us two artisans we should Google, and why? Definitely Suzanne Francis. No, She's a friend of mine no, no, in West Philly. No. No? Oh, and she does these really no, wonderful pictures. No. Oh, you don't want me to You know Suzanne. You know Suzanne. She did these wonderful pictures of all Philadelphia. No. Of, and she's done pictures of our house, of great Victorians. Ah, uh, Suzanne, and then Isaiah, no. who does the Magic Gardens. No, no. He's one of my big influences with no. his tile work. No. Why do you love Square Peg? I know exactly why I love Square Peg. Because I'm not like you watch Daddy's jewelry. Because <laughs> my daughter likes to come here and watch Daddy's jewelry. <laughs> and she does love coming here. And... I love Square Peg. Well, I think the story sums it up is we were at a yard sale a couple weeks ago. And my wife's wearing a necklace of mine. And this woman's like, I love your necklace. I have some earrings like that. And they start talking. And my wife's like, where'd you get them? She's like, this shop in Center City, it's really eclectic. And like, we're 20 at the square. And I was like, Square Peg? Yeah, my husband made those. And she's like, really? You did that? And I'm, she's went on and on about how much he loves these earrings and I'm like, oh yeah, that's a peg. And we had this like conversation where we spent like a half an hour yeah, talking all about how much we like the square peg and just the vast amount we of really amazing artisans. Peg. I know we are at square peg. And we're talking about how much we like the square peg. Do you want to tell the camera how much you like the square peg? Have you ever been jailed for your art? Nope. Not at all. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I really do anything that's really jail worthy, but um, I can't really think of any time, well, I haven't gone to jail since I was a young juvenile, 
And at 13, I realize I'm not going to do any more things to get me in that position anymore. Just minor property damage, so, but um, I wasn't artistically based. They're on a boat! Yeah. That's cool. Have you been in a boat? You have? <laughs> I can't be in boats. Why? Because I turn green and go.